Towson's John Mazza scored the first goal of the game less than three minutes in, and the Tigers never took their foot off the gas, jumping out to a 6-0 first quarter lead, eventually defeating Syracuse 10-7 here in Newark, Delaware, ending the Oranges' season in the NCAA quarterfinals for the second straight year. Despite the loss as a number two overall seed, Coach Desco refused to label his team's effort and the season as a whole as a disappointment. These guys weren't, I don't think, a lot of high expectations. You know, against Scotty Furman, we had to bring him down from long stick to close defense. And look at the year he's had and turned into a first team All American. Uh, and for the record, we had the way we played the games, all the one goal games that we came in on top of. And, uh, you know, winning last week, it's, uh, you know, I'm happy, disappointed, but happy for our group. You know, I've never been a part of a team that uh, literally doesn't have quite a vocabulary. And, you know, this team, you look at the ACC's coming out to make goals, and uh, you know, even today, you know, a lot of those, a lot of those games, you, you, it'd be easy to kind of step back and, and, uh, and, and quit. But it didn't, didn't happen a single time soon. And, uh, you know, the team holds a special, special place in my life. The Orange will lose three key offensive starters due to graduation, but head coach John Desco said he is excited about the return of defenseman Nick Mellon, as well as the increased leadership role that Nate Solomon will take on in 2018. Reporting from Newark, Delaware, McDougan, Citrus TV.